Hello, I'm Svetlin Nakov from Softuni, the Software University. Welcome back to my Dev Concept series. This lesson is all about networking. I will review the networking protocols, the OSI model and the TCPIP protocol suite. I will also talk about the HTTP protocol and web sockets. We will see several real-world examples to make sure you understand the concepts well. Are you ready to get started? Let's go! Communication in Internet uses network protocols. Protocols are standards for communication over the network. And they define how participants send, receive and process communication messages to talk to each other. Networking protocols follow the OSI reference model which structures the network communication into layers. Internet communication uses a simplified model called the TCPIP protocol suite. Let's now learn more about networking, protocols, the OSI model and the TCPIP protocol suite. Networking and internet protocols played an important role in software development. Communication and in internet uses networking protocols. Protocols define the technical standards for communication between two systems, for example, a mobile app and a web server. The OSI model defines seven layers of networking protocols. OSI stands for uh, Open Systems Interconnection and defines a framework on which modern networking and communication standards are based. There are seven layers of the OSI models. Uh, layer one, the physical layer, the physical layer, uh, it is responsible for the physical connection between two or more parties. Uh, the physical layer, the data is carried by electric impulses uh, using electric cables, radio signals in wireless in wireless uh, communication or white using optical cables. The physical layer specifications define characteristics such as voltage levels, the timing of voltage changes, physical data rates, maximum transmission distances, modulation schemes, channel access methods, uh, physical connectors and more, many more. The physical layer is part of the specifications of the USB, uh, Bluetooth, uh, Ethernet and uh, the Wi-Fi standards. Repeaters, hubs and antennas work uh, are typical devices on the physical layer. Layer 2, the data link layer. It provides node-to-node -node data transfer, a link between two directly connect connected nodes in the same network. The data transferred is split into packets called frames. Layer 2 hardware such as Ethernet adapters and modems are responsible for transmitting the frames over the physical connections. At Layer 2 communication device, devices are identified by hardware addresses such as MAC address. Typical data link layer protocols are Ethernet and PPP point-to-point -point protocol. Network switches are typical hardware for the layer 2, the data link layer. Layer 3, the network layer. Layer 3 networking protocols such as IP, uh, IPv6, IPsec, ICMP and IGMP transfer packets 
such as IP packets between two nodes at two different networks. Packets typically pass through several routers to reach their destination. The routing of the packets is an important concept for the layer 3 networking. Routers are typical hardware for the layer 3, the network layer. The concept of IP address comes from the layer 3 and it's, in, it's in, important for software developers. Layer 4, the transport layer, the transport layer, uh, transport layer protocols such as TCP, UDP and QIC uh, are responsible for end-to-end -end communication between two endpoints. These protocols transfer data split into pieces called segments and handle the flow control and error control during the communication. For example, if an IP packet at layer 3 is lost, it will not be retransmitted and it will uh, never arrive. But layer 4 protocols, uh, TCP, retransmit the lost TCP segments and maintain streams of data between the endpoints. An important concept from developer's perspective, perspective at layer 4 is the port number. Port. Ports numbers allow maintaining multiple parallel stream connections between two endpoints. Layer 5, the session layer, it controls the dialogue connections between computers. It establishes, manages and terminates connections between the local and remote application. Example protocols at layer 5 are the RPC, uh, remote procedure call and virtual private networking protocols like PPTP. Layer 6, the presentation layer, it is responsible for translation, encryption and compression of data. Example, protocols at layer 5 are SSL, the secure socket layer, and TOS, transport layer security. Layer 7, the application layer, this is the only layer this is the only layer uh, that directly interacts with data from the user. Software applications like web browsers, email clients rely directly on the application layer protocols. Typical application level protocols are HTTP, SMTP, POP3, IMAP, FTP, DNS, and many others. The HTTP protocol connects web clients to web servers. and the walls downloading resources from the web. 
The SMTP POP3 and TimeUp protocols are used by email clients to send and treat emails. Many other protocols operate at the application layer and you will encounter some of them in your career as a software engineer. The seven layer OSI model is too complicated. It is designed for network engineers and communication experts. In software development, a simplified networking model exists. It's called the TCP IP protocol suite. And it consists of only four layers. Uh, link layer, uh, which combines physical media and data link protocols, such as Ethernet. Internet layer, which transmits packets between two hosts in internet using the network protocols IP and IPv6. Transport layer, which provides communication between two endpoints using the TCP, UDP or QUIC protocols. Application layer, which defines how two applications, client and server, talk to each other. Protocols like HTTP, HTTPS, SMTP, SMTPS, DNS and DNSSEC operate at the application level. Network protocols are a large area of knowledge and it takes years to master them in detail. Software engineers only need to learn the basic concepts of networking, networking models and the basics of the most important network protocols like HTTP. Everything else from the world of networks is optional and whether developers need it highly depends on their narrow specialization. HTTP is an application level protocol for the web. It is used by web browsers to open websites, by mobile apps to talk to the server side and in many other situations and scenarios. Sockets are bidirectional stream connections used to communicate between two apps, server and client. For example, in a video call, two parties send streams of data which hold the video and the voice encoded in some multimedia format. HTTP and socket communication are important concepts every web developer should be familiar with. Let's get right into them and see why they are so important. Most connected applications communicate through HTTP or sockets. HTTP is an application level protocol for the web, the protocol used by web browsers to open websites. Sockets are bidirectional stream-oriented connections, usually implemented by the TCP protocol or the WebSocket protocol, which is a socket over HTTP. HTTP is a request response based protocol for the web. Web clients request resources using HTTP GET, POST, PUT or DELETE requests uh, and the web server provides the resource uh, response to the request and provides the resources HTTP response. We already had a lesson about HTTP and in this course at SoftUnis, so I will not discuss HTTP in detail. Sockets are bidirectional communication streams. When a socket connection is established, uh, between two endpoints, host plus port, both participants can send and receive data. which arrives in the same order as it was sent. 
Sockets are used for communication over the internet. Sockets are used to open a website, uh, to download a file from the internet, for real-time communication such as chat messages, for streaming video, for gaming and in manner radio, many other scenarios. HTTP also works over TCP or quick socket connection. Web sockets are sockets that run over HTTP. If supported by the web browser, by the web server, an HTTP connection can be upgraded to a web socket using special HTTP upgrade headers in the requests. Web sockets allow JavaScript client to communicate with the web server bidirectionally. Uh, in a message-oriented style. The web server can push data messages to the client over the web WebSocket at any time. The web client can also push data messages to the web server over the WebSocket at any time. The WebSocket technology allows web applications to efficiently communicate in real time. You will learn more about socket communication later at SoftUni in the web development professional modules. In the next section, I will give you some real-world examples of socket-based communication over the network. To get an idea where socket-based internet communication is used, I'll give you a few examples. The first example is the well-known Telegram Messenger. It uses WebSocket to send and receive messages from the Telegram server. The Messenger client maintains a socket communication with the server. The client can also send messages to the server and using the web, using the, the socket connection, the server pushes new messages to the client. The client can also send messages to the server. Telegram clients can connect through classical TCP socket, through a web socket or using HTTP one polling when sockets are unavailable. The second example is the famous game Brawl Stars. When you play Brawl Stars through the network, Brawl Stars uh, game client communicates with the supercell uh, game server over a TCP socket at port 9339. The third example is the Wife Crypto Prices dashboard uh, from htpsinvesting.com slash crypto. This website shows the real-time prices of the most important cryptocurrencies uh, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum uh, and Ripple. This website connects to the web server using a web socket and after connecting the server pushes constantly the price changes to the client. Quiet. We can watch this communication using Chrome Dev Tools. Uh, we press F12 then open network. Uh, then we find the web socket request and click the messages tab. Messages with price updates come constantly from the server. Another example of WebSocket from the developer's perspective is the site httpswebsocket.org slash echo.html. 
It is simple WebSocket client which can connect to a WebSocket server and send and receive messages from it. We can play with it. Uh, we can click connect button and we connect to echo.websocket.org. Now we send a message using the send button. The walks show the messages sent uh, to the server and received from the server. The server replies with the same message that we sent to it. Now let's see the messages in the network inspector in Chrome DevTools. We click F12 to show uh, the network inspector. Uh, click disconnect then connect. Click on the WebSocket connection. Uh, in the list of DHCP requests. Now click the send button uh, several times to see the messages. That go through the WebSocket. This is how WebSockets work. First, the client connects to the server. Then the client and the server talk to each other by sending messages. WebSocket is bidirectional message-oriented communication protocol for the web. For the most curious of you, I have prepared another web example, a WebSocket server and a WebSocket client for it, which connect to each other and exchange messages. First, open the server link at repo.it. Wait a bit for the code to load. Uh, this is a JavaScript code implementing web server, uh, WebSocket server in Node.js. We run it. And it will start and then we'll be waiting for client connections. Now we open the client link at Repoit. It needs some time to load. It is simple HTML page with JavaScript code, uh, which interacts with our WebSocket server. This is the socket client application. We run it. On the right, we can see the messages exchanged between the client and the server. Every three seconds, uh, the server sends the current time to the client as a text message. I will skip explaining the code of the WebSocket client and the server. Uh, because now we want to learn concepts, not technologies. The concept here is the socket communication, which allows the client and the server to send messages to each other. Hey, did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softuni.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts, and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free. Join now. Softuni.org.